The Swedish government has sent an ominous warning to its own citizens that they should immediately prepare themselves for the prospect of war. Not in some far-flung foreign country, but within Sweden itself. The Scandinavian country's civil defence minister and their commander-in-chief have sounded a drastic alarm bell that the country is ill-equipped to deal with what could be right around the corner. Many have said it before me, but let me say it with the full force of my office. There could be a war in Sweden, said Carl Oscar Berlin, asserting that the modernisation of the Swedish Swedish civil defence force was not happening anywhere near fast enough, Bolin added. Such an effort can only be made quickly enough if the vast majority of people are aware of the situation and understand what is at stake. Swedish Commander-in-Chief Michael Biden echoed Bolin's dire rhetoric. On an individual level you have to prepare yourself mentally, Biden said, adding this is a very serious situation and the clarity yesterday was unmistakable. It is now about moving from words and understanding to action. Why would there be a war in Sweden? According to them, because the country is about to join NATO this year. And the same fate could befall them as it did Ukraine. Russia invading a NATO member state, automatically triggering a massive response from the biggest military powers in the Western world, virtually guaranteeing World War III. Really? Is Putin that stupid? Wouldn't he just be ensuring the obliteration of his own country? Let's just hope Sweden doesn't have any undersea energy pipelines that mysteriously get blown up in the near future. The Swedish government is incredibly paranoid about being invaded. And yet many would argue that Sweden has already been invaded and faces a far greater threat than the minuscule likelihood of a Russian incursion from the millions of unintegrated migrants who have entered the country over the last 20 years. During which period, just by coincidence, Sweden went from being the safest country in Europe to being the second most dangerous. Gang violence is now such a chronic issue in Sweden. The Swedish Prime Minister has called on the army to perform law enforcement duties. Grenade attacks and riots have become commonplace, while violent crime and sexual assaults have skyrocketed. A new study finds that non-Europeans commit 84% of serious violent rapes in Sweden. For example, Algerians are over 500 times more likely to commit a violent rape than a native. Christensen himself blamed the unsuccessful integration of the millions of migrants who have poured into the country for the disorder and criminality. If I was Swedish, I'd be more worried about the people the political establishment has already allowed to invade, rather than the altogether more nebulous prospect of seeing Russian troops at the door. <laughs> If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news. <laughs> Thank you.